Come on, Gators, follow us. Hey Gators, this is the office, and you'll find everything important in here. For example, you'll find your counselor, principal, and health office. Come on, Gators, let's go to the cafeteria. Hey Gators, this is the cafeteria, and all the way over there, the last one, is where you buy your slushies and cookies. Slushies are a dollar, and the cookies are 75 cents. The, these are the vending machines, restrooms, and 100. This is the start of the 200s, and follow us to the rest of them. These are the rest of the 200s. And over here are the start of the 300s. And over here, where this golf cart is, there's more 300 rooms. Okay, so these are the rest of the 300s, and these stairs lead up to the PE and also the staff parking lot. So these are the 600s. And right here, you'll find one of our like three drinking fountains. And now let's walk down the stairs and we'll find more classrooms. Okay, so this is the 800s and you'll find the mechanical room. This gate is one of the ways to leave and this is a bike rack. Yeah, right, right here you'll find the 900s. There's also a garden right here, and up the stairs there is a staff men's bathroom. This is the only 700s classroom, and the teacher in here does ASB and 7th and 8th. Okay, this is the gym, and this is one of the ways to exit and get into the gym when there's inclement weather. This is the 7th and 8th grade girls' locker room. It's the 7th grade entrance, and on the other side is the 8th grade entrance. And it's the same with the girls over there. This is the field where we do the mile, track, soccer, football, and more. Okay, this is the 8th grade boys' locker room entrance, and 7th graders do not go this way because you will get a detention if they catch you. Where we do basketball, volleyball, stretching, and more. Okay, this is where we get all of our balls at. Like, for example, football, soccer ball, and basketballs for PE. Hey, Gage Gators. Today we're going to be interviewing our teacher, Miss Lounsbury. And the first question is, how long have you been teaching for? So technically I've been a teacher for ooh, 24 years, a long time. But I stopped teaching for a brief amount of time because I was home with my two kids. What subject do you teach and why? I teach uh, ELA, and I teach 7th grade ELA this year, and I also have one section of Avid Excel. How are you li liking Gage so far? I love it. I actually just transferred here from, I was at Earhart Middle School last three years, and I asked to transfer to Gage. My whole family is attached to this school, so I'm the only one who wasn't attached, so I love it here. The kids are nice, the staff is great, um, and it's really close to home. What made you want to teach? I think where I decided to become a teacher was because I had a really great teacher when I was a kid, and it made me want to have the same um, effect on kids. I like being around kids, and I'll, everybody in my family is a teacher too, so it's always been part Describe of Describe your style of teaching. Well, it depends on who you ask. So I think class is really structured. It's very organized because I like things organized and structured, but I do like to interact with my kids. So we'll talk about things. Sometimes we'll joke around. Um, so even though it's kind of, I would say, I think most kids would probably say I've got a pretty serious classroom um, and I can be strict. I have moments where I, we have a good time. So, but you, they may say something else. I don't know. Okay. What college did you go to? I went to UC Riverside. And I got my degrees in English and history. And then for my graduate school, which was the schooling I did afterwards to get my master's, I went to Concordia University. Describe your style of teaching. Well, it depends on who you ask. So I think um, my class is really structured. It's very organized because I like things organized and structured. But I do like to interact with my kids. So we'll talk about things. Sometimes we'll joke around. Um, so even though it's kind of, I would say, I think most kids would probably say I've got a pretty serious classroom. Um, and I can be strict. I have moments where I, we have a good time. So, 
but you, they may say something else. I okay, don't. Gators, this is the end of the interview. Thank you, Miss Lounsbury, so much for the interview, and I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Annalise. What is your name? Uh, Mr. Archer. Okay. How long have you been teaching here in general? Like. Uh, that's, this is my first year at Gage, but I've been teaching for 13 years. This is my 13th year as a teacher. Oh, okay, that's great. So what well, subject do you teach? Uh, I teach math, but in the past I've also taught science and a STEM class, which was really fun too. Mm, okay. So what was your motivation becoming a teacher? Uh, what motivated me to become a teacher is I got to volunteer in classrooms before I became a teacher. Yeah. And when you're helping somebody and they get it and you see the light bulb come on in their head, like that's like the best thing as a teacher. It's really great. Yeah. What college did you go to? Uh, I went to Cal Poly Pomona, um, which I really love Cal Poly Pomona. My classes were about the same as my high school classes. They were very small classes. Um, I could really, I really had easy access to my teachers, which was really mm. nice. Um, and also Cal Poly was really big on learning by doing. So we had a lot of lab classes where we got to actually um, practice the things that we were learning, which was really nice. No, that's While cool. you were in college, what major did you pick out? Um, so initially I was an aerospace engineering major, mm -hmm. um, but I liked the math part of aerospace engineering, but I didn't like all the other stuff. Yeah. So I switched my major to become a math major and then I became a math teacher. Have you ever worked at a different school district? And if you have, which one? Uh, yes, I worked for uh, Corona Norco mm -hmm. uh, at a school in Corona for one year. Um, and then for 12 years, I was at a school in South Pasadena. Um, but I always lived in Riverside and I was driving back and forth between South Pasadena and here. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. So when you were teaching during COVID, how was it like for you? Uh, well, COVID was kind of a shock at yeah. first, mm -hmm. um, but after a while I got the hang of it and it was actually kind of interesting because we learned a lot about technology during mm -hmm. COVID and some of the things I learned about while we were teaching at home, um, I still do. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Mr. Archer, for being a part of this interview, and I hope we hope to see you more in the next videos. You're welcome. We're here with our new ASB president, Alexa. Why did you want to become school president? I wanted to become president so that I can make more activities at school fun and that I can make people's middle school experience gooder. Who do you think would win president other than you? Um, personally, I think Lennon Snyder would be a great president that everyone would vote for. So Alexa, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Um, my favorite ice cream flavor is probably cotton candy. So far, what is your favorite subject in school? Um, my favorite subject is probably ELA. What is your favorite part about Gage? My favorite part about Gage is my friends and then leaving. What is your favorite activity to do outside of school and why? Um, outside of school, I like to go to the beach because I like swimming. So that's the end of this interview. I hope you enjoyed my amazing answers. And to all those who voted for me, stay Rizzy and be like the Glizzy.